hello everyone so in this video we would be, we would be talking about one more configuration of sqs or feature of sqs called as short polling and long long polling so what happens uh, when uh, whenever again whenever a producer sends a message and is available in the queue consumer requests with a uh, uh, for for polling for that message with a request called receive message and then wait uh, for zero seconds and then again uh, and if if the message is there in the queue for 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 polling then it gets the response otherwise it polls again so or it uh, it sends the request again with uh, receive message uh, call so uh, what happens consumers keeps on sending the receive message call until and unless it receives the response with the message in the queue so uh, this is called a sh short polling now what happens there is a configuration is S sqs called as receive message wait time so we if we can go we can go and check the definition here the receive message wait time is the maximum amount of time that polling will wait for messages to become available for receive to receive and the minimum value is 0 seconds and the maximum value is 20 seconds so from here we here we can tell the consumers to wait for defined or set the time before making another request for polling the messages so by default it is zero that represents short polling if we make it anything uh, or greater than zero it becomes long polling so if we make it 20 seconds here now what happens what happens my 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 uh, consumers will send a api call with re receive message and then wait for 20 seconds or whatever uh, seconds we have specified uh, and then before making another call so what it is doing it is reducing the number of calls uh, to the sqs for polling and thus and thus reducing the cost this is a preferred way uh, of uh, polling in sqs but it is not enabled by default it is set to zero uh, but uh, there are there can be some situations if we want um, immediate polling uh, of our messages then we should go for short polling otherwise most of the time we should go for long polling let's see how do we configure it at a console level so i've shown you already that we can go to the sqs settings page and then we can change it from 0 to 20 seconds 0 represents short polling anything greater than 0 represents long polling i have set it to 20 seconds i'll go save it and i'll go to my go to my this i'll poll already and then i send a message and as, long, as soon as I send the message, it is being received by the uh, consumer. So this is called as long, long polling. Um, there is one more concept which we are going to discuss in the coming video called as SQS Extended Library. So.